If you like what you're seeing and hearing, please consider subscribing to the podcast. You can go to either Apple iTunes, the Google Play Store, Spotify, or Amazon Music in the podcast section. It'll hit Monday morning or Sunday afternoon, depending on when it posts. And it, the video will hit on YouTube and Spotify Monday. Spotify will hit Monday evening, and YouTube it will hit Monday morning, 7 a.m., just like it does for the audio services. So please go to those places and consider subscribing or listening to the show. You can also write to me at gwgpodfellows at gmail.com if you want to write me a letter, let me know what you think of the show, things like that. Or you can also find me on Twitter at Just Little Joe. So go to those places and please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks. And uh, with that, we'll get on to the episode. This is episode 253 of Game with Grief. I'm Joe Carlson. And, hey, and, and I'm Carla Carlson. Joined uh, again by my wife, who uh, you actually have not been on the podcast in a while. So Yeah, it's it's been a little bit, but you know, I thought I'd drop in and, and uh, see how everybody was <laughs> see doing. See how everything was going in the <laughs> den. Yeah, <laughs> let me walk into that den and see how everything's going. Well, no, I, I mean, I want to have you on because I love you. I love but you also, uh, you know, we've been playing and doing things separately and together. Mm -hmm. You can take that however you want. Uh, uh, um, we have to start out though. We have been um, you. I'll, I'll start out with what you've been doing alone. Uh, you've been playing Alone in the Dark, the new I have. with uh, David Harbor and uh, Jennifer Comer. Is that uh, yes? Yeah. Uh, uh, the story's really good. Yeah. Um, the way it looks, <coughs> bless you, is mm -hmm. really good. Good. I will say that um, there's quite a few glitches in there, but not enough to make me not play it. Yeah, I mean, I saw some reviews online before it came I out. got no. stuck in a hallway. So, some people complained about the combat. Yeah, the combat, when you shoot an enemy, it like it takes half a second, and then the gun, you know, the bullet There's like a the delay. Like there's an a in, delay. There's like an input delay. Yeah. yeah, and then when you're fighting multiple enemies, as you can imagine... That's not really the best situation. Yeah, when you're like, move! I've heard you in there. Why don't you just reload? I'm very yeah. loud. Yeah. When I play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to the character at the same time. And the you're character yelling, might need a therapist after at, I'm done with right, it. Right, you're yelling at yourself and... Yes. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, but it looks spooky. It takes place in like uh, New Orleans or something. Yeah, New Orleans. Uh, David Harper is... Um, is it... Harbor? The Harbor? Yeah, it's Harbor, I think. Is the main uh, detective mm -hmm. guy that I'm playing. I think the last name for his character is Car Carney. He's like Casper Carney. He's, yeah. He, um, he says his name a, a lot to people. Even the little bit I've seen you play, he says his name a lot to people. Like He just comes and introduces himself. Yeah. It's a really fun game. I do enjoy it. Uh, some of the puzzles are um, very difficult. I mean, is that because the puzzles are difficult? You just refuse to wear your glasses and can't see where to move the pieces. I resent that. Uh, <laughs> there might be some truth in that, folks, but um, you know, then again, there might not. So I do think it's funny. You're like, "What is what?" And I'm like, "Do you want to get your glasses?" You're like, no. And then I'm like, "Okay, well, then I guess we're never seeing how this puzzle is solved." Well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, you do like the game though. You're going to keep playing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like the game. I, I do enjoy playing it. There are quite a few glitches. I am dying in one spot a lot right now. So I just decided to take a little break and yeah. come back to it. Well, that, that brings me to the next, you're playing Princess Peach Showtime too. Yeah, so that so was cute. your, that was your break game Yes. where you were like, I got to take a break from dying. And so I'm just so going cute. to, and they did a good job with all the animation, the different costumes. And just the way it plays is really good. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't run into any glitches. I don't think Nintendo really. Yeah, I think it. it the reviews I heard kind of gave it a seven out of ten, basically, and said that it, like it's it's a good like entry point for like kids to you know do action games and a little bit of platforming. The costumes are nice. Oh, it's cute. You can be. I'm right now. I'm a detective. Um, maybe maybe she could help out in Alone in the Dark and be like, let me break this wide open. I mean, maybe. Yeah, not really Those her scene. Those are kind of hard. She's like, you know what? It's spooky even for me. Look, I'm not ashamed uh, to say that I've had to look up how to complete some puzzles. That's fine. You know, quite I, a few of them, actually. I mean, I can't believe, like, uh, one of the games we'll talk about later, I'm like 70 hours into, and I'm like, where's the thing that I should know where this is, but I don't? So, 
But you like Princess Peach so far and you want to keep playing it. I do. It and, it's yeah. great. It's cute. It's, you know, it's it's not really that tough. It's like a nice, like, uh, chill game yeah, before you I get to, so. like, back to the seriousness of Alone in the Dark and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, with the little bit I saw of it, it looked really adorable, you know? She can be, like, Kung Fu Peach and uh, Ninja Peach and... She, oh, yeah, it was she Ninja bakes Peach, later. Uh, Cowgirl Peach. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you sang Bon Jovi to me this morning, so I knew you were the cowgirl. <laughs> um, it wasn't a steel horse. Let's yeah, it was, just say it was like it a was broom. Cardboard. Oh, it was like a broom or something. I don't know if she pretended a broom. Was no, whatever. it wasn't a broom, but that would have been really funny. It would have been pretty good if it would have broom. I mean, it would have been on brand for her. So the thing that we've both been doing, though, we've also been playing board games. Uh, we've got a new one called Veil vale of Eternity. Yeah, that was a little... That's still, we need to, it was fun. It's like playing games, you know, board games. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one's just going to take a couple more. Yeah, because the, you know, the directions, like we really like uh, Unstable Unicorn games. We, we've been playing a lot of, um, how come I just based on the name, Here to Slay. Yeah. We love that. The that direction. Really fun. Yeah, the directions are really clear, you know. It's, oh, cat. There's, there's our cat. Cat. All right. Down, buddy. Um, he's just going to do whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, we play here to slay. Like the rules are really easy to learn, and it, you know there's two pages of rules. Um, the Veil of Eternity. There's more with steps, and you have to learn symbols on what the cards mean. And it's not it's not worded uh, great, and so we had to both go online and watch yeah. a video, which I might have to watch again. I do like the art style, though. I do too. And you know, you're kind of like apparently you're trying to get these monsters to. Um, to basically go after a dragon at the end, which mm-hmm. is kind of neat. I like that idea. I do. I like that. I like the, like you said, the the um, the art design. Yeah. yeah. And the, yeah. Everything. It's like, th- I've seen like ancient Chinese characters, like when I was in Asia. And this kind of has that look of like these ancient hieroglyph characters mm-hmm. marked on stuff, which is really neat. I like stuff like that. Yeah, I do um, I do want to play it again, though. No, no, I will for sure play it. Yeah. I think. It's just going to be one of those games that just kind of takes a little bit to yeah. dive in. Well, Here to Slay was, too. I remember the yeah. first couple games, nights we had of that, because we'd try to take one night a week and He's play. He's really good at it. Well, you know. I will say. You, you, you won, too. I mean, I stretched you made, my legs a yeah, little you bit, made, you know? Yeah, you made it sound like, you know, you weren't. Oh, no, no, no. No, I kicked your butt a couple times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, you usually catch on quicker. But this type of yeah, I've just played a lot of games with like a lot of weird rules. But even uh, Veil of Eternity, I was like, hmm, don't really know if I get this yet. Um, oh, there's the other cat. Uh, they're after each other. Um, the other one we just got, we haven't actually open, open yet, is the Arkham Horror game, the card game, which oh, yeah. is kind of right up your alley, especially with Alone in the Dark. And you like spooky stuff. This is all about Cthulhu. and I do love um, spooky stuff. Yeah, 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 I love gothic, old gothic horror, spooky stuff. Doesn't mean I don't hide in, you know, under tables and closets. If you're allowed, yeah. If I'm allowed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Link, come on, buddy, but Link, I love you. Hey, stop, bud. We're leaving it in anyway. I do want to play the game. Um, apparently you're a detective with cards. Link. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Look. Good. Eat that. All right. You know what? Ugh. Get that one. Okay. There he's going to shut up now. Good. Good for him. We'll keep, we'll keep it in. We love him so much, but he's loud. Um, oh, um, yeah, I want to play the Arkham Horror game. It's a card game. You basically have a detective. You build a deck of cards with tools that your detective has, and you try to beat these yeah, I think it'll kind be of really arcane fun. horrors. I, and I also do enjoy detective type and it, things. As my husband knows, I am a true crime as well. It also is uh, cooperative. I don't think you're competing. You know, you're trying yeah, to solve, good. you know, d- defeat the creature. Um, it's a combined effort. Yeah, which is good. And there's an expansion. So if we like it, we get the expansion. I think it's just more cards. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, Uh-oh. that'll be fun. Uh oh, uh oh, you guys are gonna hear an ad because I just have a fireplace going, and I I kid you not, this is the most amount of ads this this uh, station has ever. Oh no, come on. <laughs> okay, it's the most amount of ads that's ever had. This thing will go for like three hours without an ad. Now all of a sudden, anyway, um, I want to play the Arkham game. It's cooperative, and I like the fact that it's just cards. There's not a big board to set up. Obviously, there will be rules, but. You know, I mean, again, just a deck of cards. That's a lot easier to handle and deal with and stuff like that. 
you know. Yeah, getting, I think it'll be a, a lot of fun. Out. I do enjoy the actual card. Yeah. Card aspect of it. Yeah, and the art's you know? really cool too. Yeah, the art's whatever. really really neat. We'll probably dig into that next week. And then the thing that we've uh, we've both been doing besides that is we've both been banishing. Yes. I um, I got you a copy of the game. Well, it's I got great. the I got the collector's edition which came with Red's notes. It's a journal. It's like in a leather bound whatever. Most of the pages are blank and you think what did I pay for? But they actually give you a a writing quill with an actual feather quill. That with calligraphy so tips, neat a stopper, and an inkwell. Yeah. And you basically make your own notes, which I think I am going to do. Yes. So, yes. In wait. the journal. So the collector's edition truly is unique. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been playing it again. I've been, I was playing it early this morning and there's stuff. There's still things on the map to find, points of interest, mm-hmm. you know, knocking out those trophies. Uh, I really like it. You. You said you were surprised I, how much you liked it, though. Yeah, I was surprised how much I like it. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I am stuck in a certain area right now, so when that usually happens, I have to walk away and come back. And yeah. It'll be easier to beat, but it's it's pretty enjoyable. I like just walking around. Is, you Are know. you stuck at that one boss? Mm-hmm. The puppeteer? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It was it was annoying. Uh, but yeah, once you beat it, like the, I think that's there's only one other, well, two other bosses, really. Mm-hmm. So that's not oh, that bad. Yeah. Okay, we're getting towards the yeah, you're getting towards the end or whatever. Yeah, so cats are crawling around. But yeah, I was surprised that you liked the games so much because yeah, me too. You kept saying that as you're playing, like, man, this is really good. Yeah, I I really like it. It's like a, a I don't know. I just like the style of the game. Like that's the kind of game I like to play mm-hmm. mostly. Yeah, the third person. You're just going around discovering things. Yeah, I've I found that it it's not really about the combat because later in the game, I mean, I'm farther along than you, obviously, but um, you know, I've beaten it. I'm just going through. It's great that you can have different save files, so I can like go through and be like, oh, I'll work on this save file, work on that mm-hmm. save file, um, because I have like the two paths, like the good or bad ending. But I've talked about that ad nauseum. But now it's like with all the tools at your disposal, combat isn't as difficult. You know, mm-hmm. like you, you know, between switching to Antia and freezing them in place and all that kind of stuff is. Uh, you know, it's more about like, ooh, what's in this cave? And uh, yeah, Red always talks about, you know, there's all these lines with him and Antia where he's like, I don't like caves. Or he'll be like, oh, great, another cave. Or uh, I guess we got to go in the mines. You know, he doesn't like being underground. And uh, you actually find like a treasured, a treasure, whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, oh, treasure. And you solve a bunch of puzzles and then get the treasure at the end, basically kill a ghost. And then he says, I could get used to this treasure hunting thing. And Antia says... Well, you got to go in a lot of caves. You got to go underground to do it. And he goes, ah, banishing it is then. <laughs> so he like, his whole thing of like, I really don't want to be underground. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's a little claustrophobic, but you know. I get it. You know. You just kind of, you know, it's a job you kind of It's okay. Get to, you know, after you fight ghosts, it's okay to be claustrophobic, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you've kind of passed the line of. Right. You're like, yeah, I think this is where I want this mm-hmm. to go. So. Yeah, I'm surprised you're digging it. You yeah, know? it's great. So we'll keep playing that. And then um, I think that's it. I think that's all we've been doing together. I just wanted to have you on the pod. Um, well, I enjoy being here. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm glad I stopped by. Yeah, you know, when you're in town again, stop by. I'll have you on the pod again. You oh, know? cool. Okay. Yeah, so it like next good. week, <laughs> just have you come on yeah. the pod. Yeah, anything else? Anything else that you think is cool that you want to shout out? Um, you. I Aww. think you're cool. Um, didn't know she. Was I enjoy that. playing games know. with you. I think yeah. it's really fun. Yeah, I like that um, we we try to pick one night a week to do a board game or something together. We were really trying to one up each other and here, you know, here to slay, and he was doing a really good job. You um, won too, though. You you know you're doing well. I, also, on the twentieth of March, we both can download Diablo Four for free. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll so be another we'll do that. one. That that'll be, be the the one. And then play. our a friend uh, we have Martin that's been on the pod a few times. He'll play with us. Yeah, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. So, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I feel bad, though, because Martin bought the game like a month ago. And then I was like, hey, man, just to let you know, it's coming to Game Pass. And he was like, oh, <laughs> great. He's like, well, I didn't spend full price. I was like, OK, good. Yeah. So, yeah, that's coming up. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it this week. Uh, everybody have a good week and I'll talk to you next week.